Brian Worthington. Here we go again. All right. Uh, today's lesson is going to be on arithmetic sequences. Uh, that's a big scary word there uh, for a pretty easy uh, thing. Now there's going to be some notation involved with this, but basically a sequence is when you got an ordered list. You guys were doing sequences when you were little kids, and maybe first grade teacher had triangle, triangle, square, triangle, triangle, blank, and you were all happy to say square, and, and you got that thing right. So we look at things left to right as human beings because we first learned how to read, and that's kind of how we look at sequences. Now there's a limiting factor looking left to right, and that is if you want the 80th term down the line of a sequence, you better have number 79 figured out, and 78, and 77, and 76, but that's kind of how we do it. And we'll show you a way of kind of simplifying that into another form also today. But a sequence is an ordered list of numbers. All right? And one thing you got to understand about a sequence, there has to be a first term. Okay? You have to have something to start with, and then you go from there. Now, an arithmetic sequence is one where you're consistently adding or subtracting the same value to go down the line of the sequence. So if you look at this, 4 leads to 7, leads to 10, leads to 13, I bet you can figure out I'm just adding 3 each time. So when you do that, that's called a constant difference. Every term is 3 bigger than the previous. It's a constant difference. So this would be 16 uh, and 19. And these, these values all have names. This is the first term, this is the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And, and so on we go down the line, okay? So what we have to be able to understand is do we have a first term? If we do, a lot of times that's called A1, okay? A sub 1. The constant difference, we could call that D. But usually, you guys, what we're trying to find is some value down the line, okay? Can we allow these beginning terms to get us somewhere down the line and also to make a formula for how we get down the line? And the word, there's two different ways of doing this. Recursively is the way you're going to be asked to look at it, I believe, on the state exam. And I'm sure this will be on there. Okay? And recursive simply says, you know what, let's call the first term A1. We have these differences. And the thing about it that you've got to realize is to get a term, you're always looking at the previous term. Okay? So, if I want A sub 4 here, I'm using a sub 3. And if I want a sub 3, I'm using a sub 2. I'm always using the one right before it. Now, there's nothing before a sub 1, so it has to start with this guy. So essentially, what you'll see them saying is, here's my first term, and then what I do is I add 5 to get to my next term, and that's how it works. Okay? So, if you say I've got some term down the line, call it a n, you are going to rely on the previous term which we're going to indicate positionally is a sub n minus 1. Now, sometimes they'll call this one a n plus 1, and we'll be relying on a n. It doesn't matter. To get a term, you're using the previous term, whether you call this the 20th and the 19th, and you write it this way or this way, it really doesn't matter. Okay? But what we'd be saying here is that I have to state the first term, and I've got to say how I'm getting a term down the line using the previous. So here's how that would look, okay? You will typically see these written like, like this. Okay. In fact, I guess I have it right here set up. Um, A1 is 5, AN is AN minus 1, the previous term, or I'm sorry, A1 is 20. The first term is 20. To get a term, take the previous term and add 5 to it. Now all that is is a recipe for how you work your way down the line left to right. That's all it is. Okay? I'm starting with a first term, I'm adding 5's, and this simply says to get any term down this line, take the one right before it. Don't get confused by the notation. This just means if n was 20, and you put 20 here minus 1, you have the 19th term. So simply saying, take the previous term and add 5, and you'll work your way continually down the line. Okay? That is how that works. Okay? So now, I was going to say, here's a, an arithmetic sequence, which are also called linear sequences or constant difference sequences. 
can we make a formula? Be prepared to look at a, at a sequence and be able to say, hey, this would be the formula. So they'll give you different options, but looking at it, we have to state the first term. So A1 is 30. Now what are we doing to work our way down the line? How am I getting the third term? I'll look at the previous, minus 3. I'm always subtracting 3 from the previous term. So you would see something like AN equals the previous would be AN minus 1, and I'm taking away 3. Okay? Now again, they may call this AN plus 1 and call this AN. What you're looking for is that you're indicating what you're doing to something to get the next term. Okay? Um, and, that, and that's it. Okay? So we go to this one. <clears throat> Here we're increasing, so the constant difference is positive. A1 is 40. AN is AN minus 1. And I'm adding 6, alright? On my way down the line, plus 6. Okay? Arithmetic sequences are sequences where you're constantly adding or subtracting down the line. So you're always getting a term by looking at the one right before it and doing something to it, adding or subtracting. Okay? So you may see something like this. They may give you an arithmetic sequence formula and ask you, okay, which line of terms would be correct for the sequence? So this is where you got to interpret what is being stated. Okay? Now, I made a mistake. I can see here this would be A1, first term. A1 is 200. AN plus 1 is AN minus 10. Okay, so I'm starting with the term 200. Okay? To get a term down the line, take the previous and subtract 10 from it. So if I want the second term, take the previous and subtract 10 from it. So, okay, 200, take away 10, 190. Get the third term, take the previous, and subtract 10, 180. They want the first four terms, 170. All right? So don't let the notation befuddle you. The, 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 the variable with the value 1 for an index is the first term. So B1 is 10. To get a term down the line, take the previous and add 3. So I've got to add 3 now. So 13, 16, 19. Okay? Notice this one, they give you what you do down the line before they give you the first one. It should be x1. x1 is 10. To get a term down the line, take the previous and add 6. So 10, 16, 22, 28. Okay? It's a notation thing. We always go left to right with sequences, and it's just a way of describing how you go left to right using the previous term to get the next term time after time after time. That's what recursive means. Okay, I think that'll help an awful lot if you're asked to work with arithmetic sequences and give me a formula, giving a formula for that. All right, we'll see you guys next video.